Electricity is a source of energy. Modern living is so dependent on it that life without electrical power is almost unthinkable. But again, what is electricity? And that's not an easy question. To answer it, we must first think about the building bricks of the whole universe. And that includes you, me, and everything there is, even this pylon. If we get in close to the iron, and then into the iron, we will see that it is built up from molecules. And then we will see that molecules are made up of atoms. An atom is so small that we really can't imagine it. It consists of a sort of central blob, which is called the nucleus, with tiny fragments of matter called electrons revolving around it. Different substances have different numbers of electrons revolving around the nucleus. The electrons carry a negative charge of electricity. That central blob, the nucleus, is made up of two sorts of particles. One, protons, which carry a positive charge of electricity. And two, neutrons, which have no electrical charge. Protons and neutrons are of about equal size. and They're both a good deal bigger than electrons. In the nucleus, there's the same number of protons as there are electrons in orbit around it. For example, this is the atom of the metal aluminum, and it has 13 electrons orbiting around it. So there are 13 protons in the aluminum nucleus. This means that the negative charges of the electrons are exactly equal to the positive charges in the nucleus, and the whole atom is therefore electrically neutral. The electrons are bound to the nucleus by the force of attraction between the negative and positive charges. But in some substances, the electrons in the outer orbit are not very tightly held, and they can be dislodged fairly easily. An atom which has lost some of its negatively charged electrons is left with a surplus of protons in its nucleus. So the atom is now positively charged. A charged atom is called an ion. When the electrons are discharged, they are called free electrons and all electrical effects are caused by the movement of these free electrons. You remember the aluminum atom. Aluminum is a substance with easily dislodged electrons and so is called a conductor. Silver, copper and aluminum are examples of good conductors while rubber, paper, and wax are examples of poor conductors. So although it's difficult to say exactly what electricity is, we now know that electrical effects are caused by the movement of the negatively charged electrons. And this is the basis of everything we shall learn about electricity.